All of you mute your mic. So let us start. Now we are going to start case study question number 25. And this is based on the first chapter, real numbers. The Department of Computer Science and Technology is conducting an international seminar. In the seminar, the number of participants in mathematics, science and computer science are 60, 84 and 108 respectively. The coordinator has made arrangements such that in each room, the same number of participants are to be seated and all of them being in the same subject. Also, they allotted the separate room for all the officials other than participants. Okay? So, jitne bhi officials hai, unke liye ek room aur participants ke liye same number of participants to be seated like that. Uh, rooms are there. So, this is the condition and based on this condition, some questions are there. So, let us move towards the first question. What is the total number of participants? So, be a very easy one. 64, 60, 84 and 108. We have to add up. Okay. So, here we have to tick the total number. Actually, the total number is 80 plus 84 plus 108. That is equal to 252. So, which option is correct? D. D. None of these. None of these. None of these. Correct. D. Now, second question. Find the LCM of 60, 84, and 108. Okay. So, we have to factorize 60. 60. Uh, if you divide it by 2, you will get 30. Again, if you divide it by 2, you will get 15. 15 we can write uh, 5 into 3 or 3 into 5. So, we will get 2 to the power 2 into 3 into 5. Similarly, 84. 84 is divisible by 4. If you divide it by 4, you will get 21. So, 2 to the power 2 into 3 into 7. 108. If you divide it, it is divisible by... Uh, it is divisible by 4. Okay, if you divide it by 4, uh, you will get 27. So, 3 to the power 3. Okay, so LCM ke liye hum log kya karte hai? It is a product of all the factors, prime factors involved with the highest power. So, 2 hai, 3 hai, 5 hai, or 7 hai. So, 2 ka highest power? 2 square. Okay, 3 ka highest power? 3 cube. 3 cube. Okay, and 5 into 7. So, that will be the LCM. And if you multiply all this, you will get 3780. So, correct option is D. D. Right. Now, the next question. Find the HCF of 60, 84 and 108. So, we already got six, the prime factors of 60, 84 and 108 in the previous question. And we know that the HCF is equal to the uh, product of all the common prime factor with the least power. So, here only two prime factors are the common one that is 2 and 3 and the least power of 2 is 2 square okay and the least power of 3 is 3, three. 1 3 one. to the power one. 1 so hcf is equals to 2 to the power 2 into 3 to the power 1 so final answer is 12 so which option is correct a a right now the fourth bit find the minimum number of rooms required if in each room the same number of participants are to be seated and all of them being in the same subjects. Okay, so what we have to do, uh, minimum number of rooms required for all the participants, that is 252 divided by 12. So what we will get? 21. 21 C is the correct option. Next question, based on the above four condi fourth conditions, find the minimum number of rooms required for all the participants and officials. Uh, it is given in the statement that officials ke liye separate room hona chahiye. And we got already 21 for all the participants. So, the correct answer is 22. And here, no option is given for 22. So, the correct answer is the D. Indeed. Any doubt in this question? No, sir. Okay. So, we will see the next case study uh, based question in the next one. Okay. So, thank you. Thank you very much.